guys, I have bad news. I don't think I can survive this burden. I've seen it all, and they're after me! I don't know what I did wrong, but I gotta hide. It's true! They removed me from Coconut Mall! This is worse than I thought. I hear him. I think he's this way. I gotta go. Well, that was pointless. All they made me do was sign a non-disclosure agreement. It talked about how opinions are worthless, and how it doesn't matter unless it sells well, and that Elliot is only a girl's name. But that got me thinking. Are video games even required to be happy in life? I mean, sure, they give you joy for a little bit, but after a while, that just kind of fades. And I know not all games are great, like, <laughs> Mario Party 10 exists, but I think you should always go into games with a medium expectation, you know, not too underwhelmed, but also not too excited either, in case it ends up being bad. Now, there are some games that you can even stand in life, and that can include popular games as well. And if you already saw the title of the video, you probably already know what we're talking about today, and I know this game is popular and has a very strong fan base. But Transformers Battlegrounds can go suck in my small intestine. Look at this! Ew! Yeah, I know. I thought there was gum in my hair too, but no, it's just me after a haircut. First of all, this game is incredibly underrated, and I love Cyberverse. That show was super funny. There is no way people think Rise of the Dark Spark is the worst Transformers game in Pop Tropica Forgotten Isles exists. This is Pop Tropica Forgotten Isles. It exists. We start in a skydiving plane and need to touch others to get the best look. When everyone lines up, Woohoo Island is dead! You really want to go there, it's so beautiful! But before I start, I now know Antonius, I can't play, I'm just too stupid. Thanks to Nintendo, I needed it. In other words, you don't know if everything is related or whether you are burning second and fourth brain cells. Nintendo has a special little video for you. The first Wii came out in 2011, and it was too late. The life of the Wii U is almost impossible to replace the Wii U, so the life of the Wii U is over. It is completed! You can find me bobs on various sites that you can follow. The nails needed for the blower or the diameter of the beaver legs. In the end, they are blinking berries. Where is Sustainable Bob? Bob is so good! When me came to her, she enjoyed the time and popularity of honey. When all the bombs come out of the wing, they roll. Hello, dear. Tables! I knew it! Oh, me? Uh, I'm just trying to tie my shoe with this fork. Uh, huh. I've had a pretty good track record so far, it's just, uh... <laughs> I hear Sean there. Gex, am I right? Crikey, where'd my lucky spoon gone? Oh! It's in my mouth. These are pretty cool, right? Well, I have to say that because now we have ends. I like the ends. That's why no one likes you. Everybody likes them, and if you don't, you're not everybody. Look at this. This could be you. That's not you? Oh, okay. I like to spiffy it up here now and. Oh, this. Is this you? Still no? I figured it out. Is this you? <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I thought. The memes were incredibly popular in this, 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 and <laughs> no one likes you. Which brings us to the last game memes were featured in. The last game memes were featured in. That's right, Metopia, a fun game. Nintendo ported this to the Nintendo Switch room, and where are the changes? I can't seem to find it. Oh, I think I diddly done figured it out. This game knows. <laughs> Hola, Rampage Racers. ¿Quieres pagar alumnos impuestos? Dios mío, son los payasos de bullying. ¿Quieres comprar el paquete de expansión? <laughs> Espero un segundo. Joy Con de Riva! No, es el West Master Editor! Eso estuvo correcto. So, uh, funny story. Um, as it turns out, it's not such a good idea to tie your shoe for fork. Uh, I learned that the hard way. So, let's talk about biology. This is the foot, but more specifically, this is the hollux. Wiggle, wiggle. And this is a heel. As you can see, there's an open wound right there. Now, best way to fix this baby up.
Oh. Mm. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Now please understand this does not work if your heart's exposed. You should probably see someone. Not your friend. I don't care if your friend's a doctor. You're dying probably. You gotta fix that up. And how do you feel about that doctor? I can go to the bathroom outside without people thinking I'm weird by looking at my organs now. Another patient satisfied. No, Anthony, also known as Name Force, is and I repeat, is not a real doctor. And no circumstances to take any medical course from him whatsoever, he's just a stupid Nintendo fan, not a doctor. Failure to comprehend and understand is super important and life-saving PSI, where it's on headaches, fevers, colds, rash on arms, legs, face, hand, liver, clavicle, vomiting and extremes called diarrhea, sore throats, cramping, OCD, nerviating, splatting clavicles, awful gill functions, eye twitching, nausea, hallucinations of giant sticks of butter, being diagnosed with single blue water, the sudden urge to uncle the badger, being in Super Mario Party face, headaches, fevers, cold, and rashes. That stuff's not entirely guaranteed. Just a 78-58 chance. Oh, Walb. Uh, you forgot Walb. And Walb. Great. This is an idiot. We'll call him Anthony. And this one is also an idiot. We'll call this one Elliot. Uh, wait, no. That's a girl's name. Um, <clears throat> how about Jack? Uh, yeah, Jack. Okay, so, um, let's see what happens. Hey Jack, you should be careful. Oh, it's fine. You know, it's not like I'm gonna hurt myself or anything. Oh. <sighs> Jack, are you okay? Popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. No, that's photography. Turn the light off. <laughs> Jack. No. Jack. What? Jack. What? Wake up, Todd. Five more minutes, Mom. <laughs> talk a little bit how it's a horrible game no one should play it it ruined my lunch and this game is just not that good it's so overrated people play it constantly dude the animal crossing on the gamecube for g's sake who's g's jesus the food brand what the heck so i want to take one last note to commemorate this about the game <laughs> Did I have to explain it? Probably not. So, before we close off today, I'd just like to say, April Fools, you splatty little clavicles. Yeah.